I mean, I had the worst dream ever. Call it a nightmare. I gotta get a drink of coffee, guys. But before we get to my dream, we had a big thunderstorm. The power went out briefly, and my computer was dead. I could not get it back on. So I unplugged it, plugged it back in. It came back on. But in the meantime, my microphone, my Yeti X microphone, and I don't think it has anything to do with that, but none of the jacks work. There are issues with that microphone with the jack plates not working anymore. So in the trash, you're going to go. There is a video on how to repair that. So I'm going to watch that and see if I can't fix it. But, you know, again... Products today are junk. They just charge you more for the bigger pieces of junk. But man, the dream. Oh, the dream. So, I, I don't say I believe in reincarnation. But I guess in this dream, I was reincarnated. I died, and I'm sent back. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm going to be born again. Uh, am I going to be a girl? Am I going to be a boy? Am I going to be Chinese? Am I going to be black? Am I going to be... Or am I going to speak like this? I don't know. So my first memory is I'm in what I think, you know. Obviously, I got my grown adult consciousness. And I'm looking around, man. Oh, this, this must be the womb. Must be the womb. I don't remember it the first time around, but well, it's kind of cozy. I'm in there. It's kind of rounded, you know. Kind of like being in a recliner. I'm in there what well, seems forever. And I can feel myself getting bigger. And I hear some gurgling over on the other side. This is a two guys big room. I got me a twin brother. Or sister. I can't see it. I can't see who it is, but I can hear them, and, I, and once in a while, it'll go boom, and it'll punch me. So we're in there for what seems an eternity. Wait for this, man. What seems to be an eternity? And finally, I hear, I hear voices, outside voices. It's like a party atmosphere. You know, I still got my conscience from my life now. So I know what a party sounds like. I I know. I'm like, heck yeah, but you know, they're not going to let me have a beer or nothing. Because I'm going to be too young. And my hands don't work. And I'm probably going to poop my pants right off the bat. And I feel some jostling. I'm like, oh boy. Here we come to the world. Here we come again. What are we going to do this time? And I hear a huge cracking noise. And I start seeing daylight, man. I feel pressure. I feel some pressure on my body. And I start seeing daylight. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. I see this dude, man. I see this dude through a little crack. And his face is down there smiling at me. And sister, a brother. Whoever's on the other side. I ain't seen him yet. The gap widens. I'm like, man, I'm almost out of this thing. I'm almost out. The gap widens. That must be daddy. That must be daddy. He was a handsome looking feller. Wasn't too bad. I couldn't see mommy. Well, obviously, I'm thinking I'm in mommy. The shell. The <laughs> I give it away. The shell that I'm in suddenly breaks away. Here comes daddy. I see it. I see it. I'm, I must be in his hand. And he's reaching down with his two fingers. I'm like, man, I can't be that small. What kind of cruelty is this? Sending me back as a midget. I see daddy's fingers coming down. He picks me up. He looks at me and I can tell he's happy. He's happy with what he sees. That's my son, is what I think he's thinking. And all of a sudden, he eats me. 
And the last thing I seen, I looked down on the floor, it was a busted peanut shell. I was sent back to be a peanut. What kind of life is that? I had like two seconds of life, man. And let me tell you, it hurt. That was my dream. What did I eat so late at night that made me have that dream? I don't know, guys. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I know you've had that dream. So, if there is reincarnation, I sure hope we get to choose. Because who would pick to want to be a peanut? Not me. Anyway, I have noticed, and I've noticed this for years... But I have noticed recent, you know, I don't travel much anymore. Well, I don't travel at all anymore. I've pretty much been here 12 years, have not traveled the country. But when I did, I think the last trip I made was from Florida to here. Okay. Uh, a few trips to Tulsa. You know, I normally go to my hot, I go to Little Rock once in a while, uh, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, whatever. But pretty close, within a day's drive. So, I'm watching all these YouTube videos. You know, if you watch the videos where they're going to different historical sites, things like that, always see graffiti. What is going on? It's not just in L.A. or any... L.A. is the king of that, by the way. But it's everywhere. i got a little clip I'll show you. Uh, about a year ago, I think it was, I made a video uh, on the other channel where I went to Talamena State Park. It's about 30 miles from me. Beautiful scenic drive. Many, many, many miles. Goes in Arkansas, in Oklahoma. And what I saw there, you know, let's just look at the clip and uh, I'll, I'll show you what's going on and see if anywhere where you live has this. All right. Here we are. I, I Isn't that terrible? Now, you would think, in the middle of Arkansas, you wouldn't see that kind of thing. Obviously, at nighttime, uh, and I had been to this, at nighttime, they're coming up there partying. I don't know when they're doing this. I had been there probably 10 years before that. I'm probably two or three times I've been there. And I didn't notice, I noticed a little, but nothing like that. I mean, they did the road, the, the whole rocks, the cliffs. Uh, and there were other locations, uh, I don't think I filmed them, that were equally as bad. But this is everywhere. Um, man, when I was a kid, that was the last thing. I mean, we didn't have the stuff today to do video games. We didn't have any of that stuff. And we were outside all day. But never once do I remember going to buy spray paint and vandalizing something we never i don't remember vandal there was maybe a few incidents where we tore something up but it was you know, like an abandoned school bus i won't forget that 
We were beating the heck out of it, but it was abandoned. It was it was already beat up. We were in there playing around, probably 12 years old. The police came. We all ran. <laughs> but other than that incident, we never vandalized anything. We just, you know, not where I grew up had a lot of historical thing. I mean, they actually did, but we just were taught to respect things. And if you destroyed something, you, you paid the price for that. Uh, today, they don't pay the price for nothing. And I think a big part of that is these towns, the way the economy is and, and all these small towns, all the businesses are closing up. There's bad economies. So those towns have figured out a good source of revenue. Well, it's people getting in trouble. So they find them. They send them back out. These kids learn that, hey, man, hey, for a hundred bucks, I can go destroy whatever I want. And they turn them back out. It's a business for the municipal courts. And, and that's part of what's been happening because I get mad at the few times I get, I got in trouble as a kid. I had it handed to me, you know, I got in trouble and they're just, they're, they're slapping. They're not even slapping their wrists anymore. They're just going, they ain't even hitting it. But it's terrible. I mean, I've seen videos in L.A. L.A., it's just thunder. It is. Waldo is scared right now. Nah, he's all right. We had a monsoon. But anyway, they have a skyscrapers there that they've been climbing the fence and climbing up. And they'll go to great extents to do this. Uh, I don't know what the answer is. They don't want to work. You tell me. Um... If it was me, I'd bring back the draft. Everybody that did not want to go to school or whatever, which school I'm not a big fan of anyway, but they they need to be doing something. Uh, when you can get them away from the video games, then they start trouble. I don't know what the problem is, and it ain't going to ever get better. You know that. You know, I don't think it's ever going to get better. But I watched a few videos last night, and I noticed that, you know, these people, they go out, and they're trying to show you places in the desert, you know, old mining camps and things, and I, I enjoy watching things like that, and all you see is graffiti, and then not only did they put the graffiti on, they got to break all the windows, the, the toilets, anything that's in there, they're going to destroy uh, there's just a lot of anger, I don't understand what it's about, um, uh, Probably never will. Glad I am the age I am. But I can tell you this. If I ever got caught spray painting anything like that park. I'd still be grounded. My butt would still hurt. I'd still be living at home. At 58 years old. Because I would be, I'd be grounded. Well. I think the only way I would. Yeah. <laughs> but let me know what you think guys. Uh, I have kind of figured this thing out. So I can show you some clips now. Uh, I don't have sound. I don't know why I don't have sound with that, but I'll figure it out. So anyway, everybody have a great day. I'm going to get out there, uh, in the building, get some work done. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.